Plotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. That time of the month. Come on already. Witcher, we're waiting. What about roads through the forest? Yulveth rules the forest. Come on! Does it belong to? Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Denevend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. Hear that? I smell an elf. That's Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children, twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorvin, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. We need him alive. No any useful spells. Get his attention. I need to focus. I'll try. Climb down and we'll finish this. I await. Ha! You're a man without honor, Vernon Roach. An insect I'll not duel, but one that I will crush. Seems like you spout the same old elven drivel. What do you mean, Witcher? I've seen your kind before. Proud and shay, sneaking around forests. Helpless, yet masking that with acts of increasing cruelty. I helped kill Roach's king. You call that helpless? Or would you call me a terrorist? No one will grant us our freedom, Witcher. We must win it for ourselves. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once, now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the Square Tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Triss, now! Ah! That ought to discourage them. 
Triss, are you all right? Should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Geralt, the spell's still working. Stay close. What? What's happening? Triss is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must fight our way toward Flotsam. Get your hands off my ass. Who did you think it was? I'm not a sack of flour or one of the commanders. I'm a woman. I noticed. <sighs> I'm just sick. At least I'm dying on a lovely ass. Not mine. Oh, Come on, let's go. Stop shaking. Are you alright? Yes. Fine. Bitches. What's happening? All I see are your boots. Where the hell is that trading post? I'm starting to think. Of Wait. Barrier's waiting. Triss. Yes, he's in the way now! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Carol, kill them now! You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. I'm the woman. My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Spice merchant. Not like. Did you say that? Squirrels that are very wolves. You're their leather. I saw him with... I think this dude's ready.
Zoltan. Dandelion. My informer. Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here! Help! Dog catcher. Step back, white one. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with the Scoyatil. Dandelion and Elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the Free Kingdom of Tamaria, or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margo! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about, but his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! <laughs> Stop the execution. Shut your trap. The thing is to hang, and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman! I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman! Shut it, all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do. Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margo! You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady! Look at <laughs> him! <laughs> he's an toying with them! <coughs> They'll hang anyway! <laughs> Look at that! Assaulted an officer! Yeah. Come on up! Oh. Got oh. room for one more deviant! Yeah. Ah. Get out! Assaulted an officer! going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. Ha, 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 out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm, hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? You have no right to hang me. Interesting. Because I'm the law in Flotsam. I take issue with that. Vernon Roach, officer of the King. Well, well. Blue Stripes. The non-human hunters. Precisely. Anyone suspected of collaborating with the Scoyatel falls under my jurisdiction. And Dandelion? What's he accused of? He burned down a watchtower. What's your jurisdiction say to that? I thought so. Is that true? It might have looked that way, but I swear it wasn't my fault. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show. Bloody and serious this time, mind you. Or 
Did he come to an understanding? Meaning? Give me a minute, Richard. Listen here! You may have heard rumours of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoyatel had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes! What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we all. We all you, Geralt. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion. You need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery beneath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. Oh no, I'm not talking to a freak. Wait a minute. Be off, or I'll call the guards. You pinch my ass and don't even leave a tip. I tell him, I'm taking your pouch, or your pouch and your life. What then? He got a ball in the back. Too bad he turned out to be poor. The poor ones are always operative. <laughs> The reader wanted to see me. Commandant's busy. Come back after dusk. What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. 
I need to talk to the Commandant too. You going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. With these cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. A ballista. The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about Ballistae? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Don't you traipse around here. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little elf was skipping down the path. I don't like strangers. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Don't you traipse around here. Care for some real diversion? Uh. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. What do you need, ugly? I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. All right. It'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. I'll not show you so much as a tip for that. All right, I'm off to give the boy some diversion. A little elf was skipping down the path. Plow them all, plow them all. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Plow them all. Oh, you are fat, dirty, rotten scum. Plow them all, plow them all. Do that again. Care for a little diversion, Grave One. I'm on duty. Oh, You've come had your on. song. Your Care comrades are well at it, having their fun. Why should you be any worse? You're right. Let's go. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious Did you hear? amounts of liquor. Two big well, shots are right. Perfect. Let's go see Laredo. Laredo's busy with that witch, Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Yes? Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. 
Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? What monster? I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck! All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Plowing squirrels. I'd put them in their place. Good old talk. Prove it. Soldier, I doubt report to me immediately. We're too soft on them, that's the problem. Soldiers are bored. The garrison's thinning. Ah, now you're talking. What do you, you want? Shut it, soldier. Yourself. Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest of your life. In Flotsam, we cut the hands off thieves. I was looking for the privy. You're lucky the Commandant wants to see you. Come on! Commandant, sir. We caught the witcher sneaking around the garden. Bring him in and leave. Yes, sir. We were just discussing a certain matter. You here on business, too? The Commandant wanted to see me. In that case, I shall leave you to it. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the Sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those Sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate. Now, nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here. And the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. That's no concern of yours. Listen, Witcher. Here in Flotsam, everything's my ploughing concern. Let me help you, Geralt. I do all right on my own. I suppose we all have our secrets. I just hope you resist questioning my authority in public again. Let's talk business, Commandant. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. There was a time those forests belonged to the elves. To them, humans are bandits. Spare me your sympathy. The elder races, the elder language, plow it all! Today they torch human settlements, they poison our wells, and they murder us along the highways. You fail to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lurido. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorably at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. 
I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. You detest non-humans. I detest Yorveth, the coward who hunts the innocent instead of facing soldiers. I detest that horse son who murders women and children while claiming that he fights for freedom. He's a monster, Geralt. He's the evil I protect people from. And anyone who helps a monster becomes a similar monster to my mind. Enough. I get it. I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lurito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Cairn has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. That is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Cairn and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'll talk to Zoltan. I trust you'll make the right decision. Farewell. Time in ages. We know this one. And it will help us keep him down the path. Plow them all, plow them all. <laughs> and on came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Turned me away at the door, the bastard. Oh, you are a fat dirty rockstar. We'll meet later. Don't forget your weapons on the way out. <laughs> 